Welcome to Strip Cover Lit. I'm Adrian Ford. And I'm Dalton Gentry. And we're here for this week's Hot and Sticky. Hot and Sticky. You always say that. You can't pause. Like normally everything <laughs> else I say it, but you're the hot and sticky one. Uh, hey. You're the hot and sticky one. Okay. Uh, so here we are again. Yes. Back for more hot and sticky. Uh, a lot of people still pumping out videos, which is great to see. A lot of people still writing, keeping to the grind. Keeping that word count, or at least keeping forward progress on their material. But that's what we are at the grind. We're at the grind. Yes. The honeymoon is over. The honeymoon is over. Uh, this is, the novelty is worn off with this. The uh, novelty. The novelty. Uh, this is the grind and the work of the author. Yes. Uh, there is a Stephen King quote that I'm going to butcher at the moment. Uh, it, but it's something along the lines of when the, ins when the inspired are not inspired anymore, that's when the real writers do the work. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Uh, uh, that's what you're at now. Yes. Uh, whether you're losing ideas in your story, you've hit oh, it's a case of writer's block, as you would call it, uh, you've got to keep pushing through. Yeah, and one thing I, I keep hearing from people is that, uh, you know, I, I hit 900 words and then I'll skip a day, and then I'll hit 900 words a day and skip a day. What I would suggest in that case is that day that you plan to skip, get a sentence in. Just a sentence. Yes. If that's what you have to do, get a sentence in. Because what it does is it forces you to live in that world. It forces you to be there with your characters and your story in that world. Uh, and I, I'll call myself out. I'm not perfect. Never said I was. Uh, life hit me hard recently. And I've missed a few days. I'm behind in my writing. Uh, and that's unfortunate. But I, that just means I've got to get my nose to the grindstone even more. Uh, and just do a little catch up. There's still plenty of time to catch up. Lots of time. Lots to catch of time up. to catch up. I I've missed a couple days as well. Yeah. Um, I had a a few flip back and flips back and forth between overnights and 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 nights. And uh, y y at that point, you're not even sure what day it is. Yeah. Right. No, that's and that's <laughs> an excuse. It is. But it's possible. It's very possible to fall off in that circumstance. Uh, that's a great excuse. But I work overnight, and I never know what day it is. Yeah. Uh, I refer to days as my Monday, and it's not my Monday. My Monday is Wednesday night. Right. Uh, yeah. So that hurts the brain. Little suggestion I would give, though. Uh, part of good writing is good reading. Yes. You need to be reading. Uh, and it, we're hoping we haven't, like, a cornered people into only writing now. Uh, because you have to read. A reading is what it creates good writing. And you should never be afraid to steal from a good author. Not not paragraphs at a time. No, you, do, you don't they copy down the words. That's right. what we call copyright infringement. Yes. Uh, but if you read some Chuck Palahniuk, Chuck Palahniuk is going to bleed into your writing. Yes. And that is a good activity. It's a healthy activity. That's going to help you trim and refine your voice as a writer. I'm going to sneeze in like the next 45 seconds. Don't be alarmed. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, one of the things that, that we've preached since the beginning is having this palette yes. of your novels next to you, of those, those people that you wish to draw from. Keep them on. <laughs> what? <laughs> I told you I was going to sneeze in like the next 45 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you sneeze in French. Up to you. Up to but anyway, uh, keep, <laughs> keep that palette of novels on your desk, wherever it is that you do your writing. And uh, when, you're, when you're stuck, when you're constipated as it is as a writer, yes. pick one of those up, flip to a random page, read a paragraph. And I think what a good uh, exercise is to do is we all get stuck at times, and there's going to be days where the words just aren't there for you. Yes. That is a day where you should start exploring writing in a different voice. This is your first draft. You're going to edit this. Nothing is solid. Sit down, read yourself some Hemingway, and maybe try to incorporate what you're doing with a little more Hemingwayan uh, voice behind it. See if that works for you. See if you like it. See if you can pull something from it. And if not, not only did you get your writing done, but you explored your voice a little bit. Another, it, thing, another thing that I would suggest is keeping a journal with you. Okay. And if you have to write about your day in that journal to get going, write about your day. Try to do it as Chuck Palahniuk. Uh, if you are not Adrian, Pinzu, 
uh, is an electronic app via your phone and your laptop. It is an online journal, at which point if you have an idea, you can actually text it out on your phone and it will save to that and you can go home and literally pull up your writing. Okay. So, uh, just a little tool. Not against it. Not all of us carry notebooks. Uh, I compulsively carry a notebook. I know you You've do. noticed that. I know. Uh, but yeah, it's important, live in words through this. Absolutely. Right? Live in words through this. Yeah. There are times where maybe you feel inspired, but you sit down and you're like, I don't know where this goes. This is where we stopped yesterday. I don't know where we go from here. Get some senses out in the journal. Anything. Maybe it's free writing. Maybe you're brainstorming. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's what your day was. Maybe it's what you ate for lunch. Just, Just anything. Words. Yes. I, it, I, the best way I can put it is right now when you're in the trenches and there's no end in sight. And it's dirty. And it's dirty and it's hot and it's sticky down there. Ye the payoff is going to be worth it. Yes. Once you get to the end of this summer and you're looking back and you say, holy shit. 60,000 words I wrote a novel. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to tell you now that that novel is basically going to be scrapped because you got to re-edit and you got to rewrite. But that's going to be a good feeling. And here's another thing that's going to happen at some point. At some point during this, we're going to find our novels. We're going to find yes. our stories. Most of us probably are not there yet. We might even think we are. But when we're done, we look back and we realize that's not what this novel is about. Yes. This novel is about X. I wrote about Y. Um, and that's and okay. My suggestion, once you find it, is to begin writing that novel where you are in your novel, right? Um, you don't have to scrap everything from the start. You don't have to finish the novel as it is and then go back and relayer everything. W what we can do is take what you've written up to this point. We find our story here. The rest of the novel is that story. On that second draft, we go back and infuse all of this into this. Okay. So, and, and finding the novel is a glorious feeling. It is a feeling of elation. But that's not where the work is done. No. The work uh, goes on from there. And you know, it's cliche, but hard work and effort pay off. Even at the end of this, if you still don't think you found that novel, you still have accomplished a major feat. You can honestly say you've accomplished something which not a lot of people have. Yeah, and you have revolutionized yourself as a writer. Absolutely. You've it is grown. important to get through a novel, right? Absolutely. So we got to keep trucking. Oh, we'll keep trucking. We're going to get through it. Yeah. No problem there whatsoever. Uh, let us know down below where you are in your novel. What are some of the difficulties that you're experiencing right now? And uh, what you're doing is, what's your coping mechanism? Yeah. Uh, what, what are you doing to get through this? Uh, mine is booze. Lots of booze. <laughs> uh, and definitely hit that subscribe button and join us for more hot and sticky action uh, as much as we can. Yes.